شما جماعت روشن کنید امروز روز شهادت مزبن جفره یا سوم جمادی روز شهادت مادره یا نه امروز آشورا زنجا تقریب من روشن نشده همین فرمایشاتی که فرمودن من رو یاد این سه چهار بیت انداخت اما سه چهار بیتی که کار دارم با هر بیتش کار دارم نیست حبس من قفص زندان منو به قفص تشبیه نکنی السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all Welcome to the holy land of Kadhimiyya on behalf of Imam Hussein channel, I would love to send the deepest condolences to the Islamic Ummah and the religious authorities and the Shias in the world. Respected viewers, a brief introduction about Imam al kadhim peace be upon him. <laughs> The Imam, peace be upon him, uh, was born in 128 Hijri. Uh, a number of uh, of his uh, of his attributes. He was he was known for uh, the numerous miracles, and thus and that's why he was he was he was called Bab al-Hawaj, the gate of fulfillment. He was uh, he was patient, and thus he was called al kadam al kadam means the person or the one who holds, who withholds his anger, the person who withholds his anger, the Imam, peace be upon him, the Imam, peace be upon him, stood in the prison and, you know, uh, took, be it, be it all the, all the patience, he, he was, he was, he was entirely patient with the tyrants of, uh, of the Abbasi Khalifs. He was also, uh, you know, one of the most tortured imams of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam. Respected viewers, prepare yourselves with me. We will recite the ziyara, inshallah, together. Uh, but before reciting the ziyara, I have some important points to indicate. Traditions indicate the great rewards of those who go to pay the pilgrimage to Imam al kadhim peace be upon him, according to numerous reports. To visit Imam Musa ibn Jafar al kadhim alayhi salam is the same as visiting the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny. According to another narration, he who visits Imam al kadhim alayhi salam is as if he has visited the Holy Prophet and Imam Ali alayhi salam. According to a third narration, to visit Imam al kadhim alayhi salam is the same as visiting Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. According to the fourth narration, uh, the reward of visiting Imam al kadhim peace be upon him, is paradise. Respected viewers, we will go through the ziyara right now. Uh, peace upon you, O the Vicegerent of Allah and the son of his Vicegerent. Peace upon you, O divine proof of Allah. Peace be upon you, O the chosen one by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace be upon you, O the trusty of Allah. Peace be upon you, O the light of Allah in the darkness of this earth. Peace be upon you, O the symbol of religion and piety. Peace be upon you, O the bearer of Prophet's knowledge. Peace be upon you, O bearer of the Messenger's knowledge. Peace be upon you, O representative of all preceding successes. Peace be upon you, O the bestowment of knowledge and messengers. Peace be upon you, of O bearer of the assert knowledge. Peace be upon you, O righteous leader. Peace be upon you, O aesthetic leader. Peace be upon you, O devoted worshipping leader. Peace be upon you, O proud master and chief. Peace be upon you, 
O the slain and martyred one, peace be upon you, O my master, Musa ibn Ja'far alayhi wa salam. Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mercy and blessing be upon you. I bear witness that, that I have faithfully conveyed what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you have faithfully conveyed what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered you to convey. Safeguarded that which He has entrusted you with, made lawful what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered, and made unlawful what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered, carried out uh, the decrees of Allah, recited the book of Allah, endured harm for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and strove away of Allah as it ought to be striving until death, death came up unto you. I also bear witness that you passed away carrying the same principles as your purified forefathers. I have come to you seeking nearness to Allah, the All-Exalted, and seeking your interpretation. So please intercede from me with your Lord so that he may forgive my sin, pardon my offense, overlook my uh, abduous, erase my wrongdoings, allow me to enter paradise, uh, endure me with favor that suits his generosity, and give me my forefathers, my brothers and my sisters, and all the believing men and women in the east and west of earth out of his favoring, notably and benevolence. Respected viewers, Imam al Kadam, peace be upon him. There are numerous narrations that speak that speaks of, of his attributes. SubhanAllah, uh, the Imam, peace be upon him, has, has also uh, many narrations that stood perfectly as as it was you know as guidance divine guidance by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it isn't surprising to say that these attributes belong to the Ahlul Bayt all these attributes came to the Ahlul Bayt you know uh, inherited them the Ahlul Bayt inherited those attributes from the Holy Prophet peace be upon him and his progeny but the most standing one was being al kadam The Imam, peace be upon him, was, was, was the person who, who withholds his anger, who, who was the patient in the face of all that agony, patient in the face of all those you know, misleading people, including the, the, the Khalifa of that time, Harun al-Rashid. Do you know, my dear viewers, that the Imam, that the Imam, peace be upon him, had stood, had, had stood, in, had stood in prison for long, for long time, until Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blessed him and took him for Allah, took him for paradise, took him for him, and. And straven him, embracing the martyrdom. Respected viewers, as you see now, we are in the areas neighboring the holy shrine. In the areas neighboring the holy shrines of Imam al-Kadhim. As you see, thousands of, of pilgrims are flocking towards the holy shrine to perform the pilgrimage rituals. The pilgrimage rituals towards Imam al-Kadhim, peace be upon him. Respected viewers, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, stay tuned, stay tuned for footages, for footages from the uh, pilgrims and uh, footages from the pilgrims walking towards the holy shrine. Sahara,
Respected viewers, back to you from the areas neighboring the Holy Shrine of Imam Kadhim, peace be upon him. As you see, the atmosphere in, in, this, in this area, you see the, the pilgrims are continually flocking to, uh, to the, the Holy Shrine, as well as you can see that uh, the security forces are, of course, you know, uh, among the, the, the pilgrims to facilitate either their movement or to make sure that everything is safe. As well as, if, if you can notice with me uh, from, the, from the street, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, services units that provide food, drinks and other types of services such as, you know, at night probably the pilgrims need to sleep and they can provide all these services. Uh, as for a clear statistic from the, from the Holy Shrine, it's not clear how many how many pilgrims have came to the Holy Shrine yet? But uh, as for now, as for now, uh, they, they they can estimate the numbers to be uh, to be about uh, about a million billion billion people who came to visit the Holy Shrine. But as you know, the 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 the, the actual pilgrimage will take place in two days. So at that time, there will be uh, a particular you know uh, more specified. Uh, uh, more specified statistics uh, that come out from the Holy Shrine of the numbers uh, of the pilgrims who come to visit and to perform the Ziyara rituals. Respected viewers, uh, there are a lot of things that, that can be witnessed on the road to, uh, to the Imam, peace be upon him. Uh, certain, certain things that, hap that are happening you know, it's 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 more of a, a more of a miracle that is happening. People are coexisting together, particularly we are in Baghdad now. And as you know, Baghdad is a multicultural, multi-faith city where we have here Shias, Sunnis, Christians, and uh, you know Sabians, uh, Azidis, and the other you know people from other religions, people from other sects all live in the same city but particularly in this in this pilgrimage we can see that the atmosphere is totally clear we can see that uh, the pilgrims are coexisting between themselves and with the <coughs> population of the city the population of the city they come all along together to visit the the imam peace be upon him we, I have also, you know, spotted a number of, uh, of of services units that are that are not not Shias. They are they were they were they were you know uh, a Christian uh, services unit that provides services for the pilgrims. And you see the beautiful thing in here is that the Ahlul Bayt, salam, they have always united us as humans. Starting from the first Imam, peace be upon him, anyone who said people are of two kinds, either an equal in humanity, you know, a person just as you are, or a brother in faith. Thus, the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, starting the Imams, alayhim salam, sorry, starting from Imam Ali, the first Imam, up until the last Imam, the awaited, the awaited Imam. His Majesty Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. They were all, you know, they were all uniting us as people. We see now that Imam Khalid, as I said, is uniting, uniting pilgrims from, you know, from between the other, and also the other, other, other populations that are providing services for the pilgrims of Imam Khalid, peace be upon him. Respected viewers, stay tuned. We will back in a short break. Uh, <coughs> And you know, you know, you'll be with footage, with live footages uh, from the uh, from the pilgrims who are flocking on feet to the holy shrine. Stay tuned, dear brothers and sisters. بر خاک غم ها 
مرد قریبی تنهای تنها سر را نهاده بر خاک غما Stay tuned for today and tomorrow and the day after for we will have live shows from the uh, from the holy shrine of Imam al kadhim peace be upon him the number of shows a number of shows will indicate a briefing you know about the history and the uh, the ziyara of Imam al kadhim peace be upon him will also be recited the uh, the calamities that the ahlul bayt alayhim salam Imam al kadhim his sons and his father, the calamities that they have been through because of the Abbasi rulers, all of that will be portrayed in live shows directly from the Holy Shrine of Imam al Kadhim, peace be upon him. Stay tuned and thank you very much for watching us. <laughs> سر را نهاده بر خاک غم ها مرد قریبی تنهای تنها سر را نهاده بر خاک غم ها یا که بر لب زمزمه دارد ذکر یا امی فاطمه دارد گویا که بر لب زمزمه دارد ذکر یا امی فاطمه دارد موسی ابن جعفر حضرت کازم موسی ابن جعفر حضرت کازم او اقده هایش فوق زمان است گریان هجرش نه آسمان است او اقده هایش فوق زمان 